All right, welcome to Digital Photography. It's Spirit Week. Woohoo! Woo Go ahead, chat it in the chat bar. What's your favorite team? What's your favorite sport? Are you excited about the Super Bowl results? Oh, shucks. That's too bad, Josh. Let's see. I'm going back. There's a lot of comments today. Oh, everybody's enjoying Spirit Week. Rest in peace, Patriots. Oh, go Utes. All right. So I'm excited today because it's Spirit Week, so I got all in the spirit of things. Here we go. We're editing Project 1 today. Give me a green check if you brought your three photos with you to class. We have a lot of people in class today. Good deal. So we've got several people that have their photos with them and they are ready to get down to business. And we have some people with some red X's who are telling me I'm not ready there. I'm not there yet. That's okay. We all work at our own pace online sometimes and that happens. So don't, don't stress out about it. What's important though is that you don't fall too far behind and that you get caught up as soon as you can, okay? Deal? All right, so here's what we're going to be doing today. Does anybody want to read the objectives for us? Everybody bring your bouncy balls up here. Sweet. Perrin, I'll have you go ahead and read for me first, and then Porter, if I get another opportunity, I'll call on you. Go for it. Number one, how to keep score. Number two, choose your first opponent. Number three, rotate your second opponent. Number four, rotate to your third opponent. Five, submit your game results. And those were just some funny little things that I saw of what all of those hand signals really mean. <laughs> hand sweating, uncontrollably. <laughs> Perfect. So you guys excited? I'm going to kind of go through the slides really quick. Okay. Oh, how to keep score. Perfect. Porter. Uh-oh. Porter's away. Okay. So who wants to read and play the Porter? Okay. Madeline, go for it. How to keep score. 50 points portrait. Brightness and contrast. Face and eyes are sharp. Cropping. Details and context support the mood of the portrait. 50 points. Landscape. Brightness and contrast. Details in the foreground. Record and background. Cropping to the rule. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, um, I did email you guys a, a link last week, I think it was, that um, gave some clarification about all of that. Let me just quickly copy and paste that link in here for those of you who might not still quite get what I'm looking for. Even today I had a question, a student was panicking like, oh, I have to do props. And it's like, well, within reason, I'm not asking you to like create an entire studio or anything, but if you did your chapter four work, you know how important context is to a portrait. So that's what we're looking for. And this lovely video right here kind of goes into more detail about that. Next, here is the playing field, okay? So you guys are going to tackle your opponents one by one. Let me go ahead and get that information up there here. Let's see. So for your first opponent, and that is a safe link, everyone. Are you proud of me? I got my safe links. Okay, here comes opponent number two. All right, and opponent number three, here we go, there we go. So when it's your turn to take on each of these opponents, you're just going to open up your GIMP, less, GIMP software program and just follow the video. I'll walk you through it. Easy, if you watch the videos to the very end, don't stop in the middle. <laughs> Okay, um, next. So I know some of you guys have some red X's and you're not quite feeling ready to play yet, all right? So this is what I want you to do in class today. If you're not ready to play, I need you to work on these tests right here. 
and I've got videos for those too. Surprise, surprise, right? But at the end of today, I want these tests done and you've got to start working on your first project, okay? So um, this is what I mean by submitting your game results. You're just going to go down into the Project 1 Landscape Portrait and Street Photography folder and upload to the Dropbox. Don't worry, those videos show you how to do that as well. And uh, these are the exit tickets today. So submitting Project 1, and it needs to be sized and named correctly. This is my logic. And then the other exit tickets, if you're not ready for this, you need to have units 2, 3, and 4 tasks completed. And when I say completed, I don't mean just like do them. I mean get an A, because those videos are designed for you to get an A. So if you don't earn an A the first time, you need to watch the videos more slowly and choose your answers more carefully. And I'm going to be here the entire period waiting for your questions and here to help you. So if you have any issues, this is the time to get help now. Slides are open and I am here to answer questions. I'm going to go ahead and get those links put up there really quick. Porter, what's your question? Oh, I don't know how to add in my pictures to GIMP to be able to find the folder so that way I can start editing it. Madeline, how you would do that is go up to the file button and then hit open or control O file wherever you saved it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. But how do you crop again? Is it the scissors? Is it the, is it no, the scissors is kind of like freehand. So there's a little square select re rectangle select tool. We do control mm -hmm. R. No, not control R. R, and then just drag the cursor, cursor, and then go up to image, and then crop to selection. <laughs> Can Florida or have an accent, or is it just me? <laughs> Say that again. Uh, I was asking if you had an accent, like, um, do you have, like, <laughs> I don't know, it, it sounded like you, in, um, you had an accent when you... His voice just sounds a little higher I, pitch, maybe. I, 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 I have a speech disability, so it sa makes me sound like I'm from London, so I'm, I'm used to it. I have I like it, a lot of people like that. <laughs> well, I like that's it, cool, I don't try to sound like I'm, you know, in the UK on purpose sometimes. I'm a voice actor, so I sound from all different types of places depending on where I'm going to sound yeah. like I'm from. I can sound like I'm a bit British as well, but I don't always do it on purpose. That was Wait, Daniel? Yes, ma'am. Um, I need help with uh, the... So, when you're saving it, I put... Are you supposed to save it as JPEG? Because it's not letting me. Yes. Okay. So, so this is going to be sounds nuts. But when you hit file, you want to say export. Okay. Shift control E. Just realized that it's after four o'clock and I need to log out. Does anybody have any questions before I get us all logged out? Give me a green check if you're good to go, and we can go ahead and get logged out. Awesome. Thanks, Ariana. Brazia, you already had a green check, so but I'll take that as a green check. Thanks, Erin. Thanks, Emily. You guys can go ahead and just log out. I'll send an email summary that will have all the links that I had in this class, so don't you worry about that, okay? You'll be getting all those links that you need. All right. Thanks, you guys.